Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 7.10 from Sadiku book. So the question is, for the circuit in figure 7.90, find V0 T for T greater than 0. Determine the time necessary for the capacitor voltage to decay to one third of its value at T is equal to 0. Okay, so let's start by separating this into case by case. Okay, let's start by case number one, which is when T is less than zero. Okay, now case number one. Okay, when T is less than zero. Okay, remember that this is the voltage formula of the capacitor. So we will find out why we need this formula. Okay, for T is less than zero, the switch is still closed, so I will have this ter 36 volt voltage source here. And then we will have this 9 kilo ohm resistor. Kilo ohm. Okay, and then I will have this 3 kilo ohm resistor is also here. So I have 3 kilo ohm. Okay, and assuming that the switch has been closed for a long time, the capacitor has already discharged, so it will become open circuit. So we will have P0, 0, 0 here. Okay, to find out the this voltage here, we can just use voltage divider. So P0, 0 is equal to i think we will have 3 divided by 3 plus 9 then multiplied by 36 okay 3 plus 9 is 12 and the numerator is still 3 multiplied by 36 12 and 36 will cancel into 3 so i will have p0 when the time is 0 is equal to 3 times 3 that will be 9 volt okay we have found this first value here which is p0 okay now let's find the time constant which is when the switch is open so case number two is when t is equal to zero okay when t is equal to zero the switch from close becomes open so we only have this resistor and this capacitor left so our circuit will be like this this is three kilo ohm and then this is 20 20 microfarad okay from here we can calculate the time constant the time constant is r multiplied by c and the r is 3 kilo ohm so 3 multiplied by 10 to the third power and then 20 multiplied by 10 to the minus 6 okay i will have 60 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 or tau is equal to 6 multiplied by 10 to the minus 2 and the unit will be second okay this is the important value number 2 so we will have this tau and finally we need the p infinity here and here okay the infinity as the name suggests is at the time t is equal to infinity so i will have case number three t is equal to infinity okay the capacitors are already discharged because it is on infinity and then we only have this three kilo ohm resistor left and then this is V0, V0 infinity. And because we don't have any source, that means that V0 
infinity is equal to 0 volt. Okay, now we get all the important value V0, V infinity, and the time constant tau. So we will have Vt is equal to V infinity is 0, and then plus V0 is 9, so I'll have 9 minus 0, and then E to the minus T over tau so i will have 6 multiplied by 10 to the minus 2 okay so i get this bracket for not make it ambiguous so we will have vt is equal to 9 e to the this is 100 divided by 6 what is 100 divided by 6 okay that will be so I'll have minus 16.667 T. And the unit here will be volt when T is greater than 0. And I think that is the final answer for this problem. Hopefully this will help you solve problem 7.10. And that's all for my video. I will leave my video until the 8 minute for the AdSense purpose. You can leave here. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.